Hi, Jody. How are you? I am really excited about today. Apparently, you have three, not just three channeled messages, but three really important and interesting and helpful channeled messages. Yes. Yes. Right. <laughs> Which one do you want to start with? Uh, let's see. Um, okay, well, I'll start off with the one I got early this morning. Uh, and it's from Ascended Master Sethius. Um, So this is the message I got. Uh, you are a special child of knowledge. I will be the Ascended Master who brings in the angelic light weave geometry as needed. I will be working with you closely as we begin this new journey together. We are weavers of divine light, a sacred geometry of oneself, each one being different. You will be guided to use this weave as needed in the future along with the light language of sound and breath. We are very honored to work with you. <laughs> so that is an ascended master that I had never yes. heard of before. Like I have my posse that I work with all the time. You get a whole bunch of new ones. So Sethius, ascended master Sethius, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. And then we were talking about how you were guided to take an angelic weaving course. I was, and that, yes, I, I was guided to take an angelic weaving class, and I found a class online, and, uh, and they introduced this Ascended Master in the class. In your angelic weaving? Oh. Yes, yes. Okay, that makes so much sense. Yeah, so, uh, and, uh, but you know, going, thinking back uh, now, as, as I've been thinking back about uh, the healings that I've done recently and so forth, I've already been using it. I have been yeah. using it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And I loved, I love how this works too, because before yeah. we put this, put press record, I was like, Rose, that's what I've been doing. Like I've been <laughs> calling it creoses and doing funny things with my hands like not honoring yeah. this is hands-on healing you know that I'm doing right. and I and my hands are guiding me and it's it's more than Reiki although right. Reiki is amazing yes exactly now and you I've know got what? a name for it let me tell you I yeah. took uh Reiki one and two and during uh, uh, my session, uh, taking the, uh, the certified class, um, I don't know why, <laughs> but I was doing this. Yeah. Me too, in my Reiki with, class. I'm yeah, like, do you mind if the, I just like move a little I, I don't over know you? Why. <laughs> I don't want to touch your ankles. I'm good. I'm just going to do my thing. Yeah, I was being that. I was led to do that and I'm like okay but that's not what the instructor said to do right <laughs> he's just placing your hand and 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 so yeah but I was being led I my hands were just moving yes yeah well mine was um shamanic reiki because I figured I was like all right I do hands-on healing I do chronic healing you know mm -hmm. like get rid of swelling like physical healing this isn't just entity not that just entity removal but you know what I'm saying like this is yeah in the physical it's a lot harder for me to believe that I can heal things with my hands <laughs> and right. my thoughts and moving around but I can I've done it a bunch of yeah times, you right? can yeah but having all that I was like you know I need a certification or something to call it so I took a workshop and it was shamanic reiki so when I was like, I'm just gonna, you know, go like this. I was working on my cousin and and um, helping her anxiety. Actually, like I was pulling her anxiety out of her ears. And she's... <laughs> but in shamanic Reiki, they're like, if that's what you feel called to do, do. I'm like, okay, so I'll call it. 
Yeah. Yeah. ID. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but this is, this makes a lot more sense that angelic weaving is. Yeah. And they want me to show this too. Mm -hmm. So angelic weaving is more working with the meridians, working with the healing points, the energy yeah. release points. Um, yeah. So, and they're mm -hmm. also telling me right now, like, listen, don't get caught up in the words. The right. words are helping us make those connections. Or I don't know about mm -hmm. you, Rose, but yeah, I have does, problem right. with the words. <laughs> don't worry about the words because the actions will, and the work they're saying will speak for itself. And yeah, the the actions, yeah. you know, whatever movement, sounds, whatever come in. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing with sound. Uh, I was being led to look up or, or uh, yeah, take something on uh, sound healing. So I, I do have some stuff Voice on that. Voice lessons. Yeah, yes, but but sound healing, like uh, just uh, doing different sounds, like uh, like the letter E. Uh, you know, and, and how that vibration, uh, goes, flows through your body and the, you know, and you belt it out from your stomach out and it, it really, it really vibration. vibrates your body. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is it. How did you find that course or have you found it yet? I found it online. It was a free online course. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll forward it to you so you could so you could uh, check it out. Yeah, it was a free okay. online course, and uh, it was very helpful because I mean, they uh, instructed you through all the different sounds that you can make, and then uh, and then they wanted you to see how your body felt. And wow, I mean, I felt, I mean, I was like literally floating. Yeah, my body was vibrating. Wow. I could feel the difference. Yeah. So in that case, oh, then now when yeah. <laughs> when I do uh, healing and uh, or even uh, light language, yeah. I I I'm using all that. I'm using the <laughs> I'm using the light, the the angelic weave, and I'm using the uh, the sound, yeah. right. It's this all, it's all doing. there. Okay. Yeah. And I think it's a confirmation, like you're on the right road. Like keep, like <clears throat> they knew that the hands are doing something. Like I have control right. over my hands. It's not like, um, you know, I could stop <laughs> if I want to, but I'm like, okay, just, you know, it wasn't anything. Just go with it. Right. Or whatever. Yeah. There was no reason to stop other than like, it's just weird, but I knew it was for a purpose. Right. But knowing like, yeah, you're doing it for a purpose and here is the purpose is just another element of, you know, confirmation and mm -hmm. guidance, I think. And then right. yeah, the light guidance, codes, yeah. The light codes thing symbols. The light codes. Yeah. Right. So Reiki has symbols when we do the shakare, yeah. shakare, you know, all right, that. right. But we're guided to learn more light codes light and... codes exactly yeah. Yeah. these are all our tools mm -hmm. these are all tools <laughs> all of our tools yeah and we have been uh using them so yeah but it's it's uh it's like i've said before a puzzle but it's and it's beautiful yeah and yeah. this has only been a week it hasn't even been a week since the last time we spoke, I think. And look how much has happened. I know. <laughs> look at all this information. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, so um, cool. okay. Um, now, you uh, you said, you mentioned King Childeric, which I yes. had never heard. I, n I had never heard of King Childeric. So, um. Yeah. Yeah, so I decided, okay, well, let me see if I could channel him. <laughs> okay, so King Childeric is 
Um, they're the, one of the original or the oldest or earliest, depending <clears throat> on which way you look at it, Merov Merovingian kings. King Childeric is the father of King Clovis. Mm -hmm. So if anybody has heard of King Clovis. And these were the Frankish kings in the Merovingian line, which they say is a royal bloodline. And you and I were talking about these, the B symbolism the, and the fleur de lis because the Franks um, turned it to the, were the French royalty. And there mm -hmm. were bees and then the fleur de lis, and we wondered where the heck those came from and why came we were getting the symbolism. Mm -hmm. King Childeric, when they found <clears throat> his grave over a thousand years after he was buried, there were 300 golden bees in his grave site wow. with him. So that's how we started talking about him. Yeah. And so now you channel him. That was a, a little intro. And he said... <laughs> Okay, this is what he said. Mm -hmm. He said, and I'm quoting exactly what he said, I could feel his energy. Uh, and he says, ah, yes, lad. <laughs> I know. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yes, we, uh, we were Moravian. Is that, am I saying that right? Moravian. More Merovingian five kings. syllables. Okay, Merovingian kings. Uh, Merovingian kings are a hierarchy of kingship within the monarchy. There were six kings in total. We are of the highest vibrational beings group who were chosen by God Himself. We lived a pure, humble life uh, within our kingdoms, and we were viewed as pristine with much knowledge. Unfortunately, some of, some of us took a wrong turn and greed, wealth became more important than leading the people of the kingdom. Some chose to marry outside of what was appropriate and the knowledge and customs of the elite suffered causing disruption. I can't read my own writing. <laughs> disruption so to the mm -hmm. kingdoms the people, their beliefs, and guidance. There was much chaos caused by these alliances, which caused failure of the elite chosen group of hierarchy. Eventually, it led to the downfall of the kingdoms and its patreons. Then I asked, uh, what was the connection of bloodlines between uh, Jesus and Mary Magdalene with the Mer Merovingians Mer <laughs> kings <laughs> okay the connection was in the bloodlines it was said <coughs> excuse me there were no connections but that was false Jesus and Mary Mary's royal bloodline was in fact connected by one of the royals wedded a Merovin Merovin Merovingian, Merovingian king. The, the uh, marriage was not looked upon being of highest caliber. Jesus and Mary's wedding was not looked on as being of highest caliber. With connections with the Moravian, Mer yes, kings. Okay, we're going to have to put that on the community post. I want to read that over and over. 
because that is so interesting. And so six kings in a row. Yes. Because I tried to go back and look like, but um, the Merovingians were like in the 400s and the 500s or the 400s <clears throat> and the 700s. So I'm like, what about from the 400s to, you know, 100 AD? When when was that? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's that's next. We're gonna look into that. Yeah. And see why it wasn't a uh Yes. Right. Why was it also uh, not it was it wasn't intermarrying? Viewed, yeah, and it was not viewed as a high caliber uh uh wedding or marriage. Marriage, I should say. Yeah. Wow, I know. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't pick up on that before. I wonder if I was thinking about the other, like intermarrying, and I got it confused the first time you read it to me, that I got that they were intermarrying um, or interbreeding, and that's what they didn't like, you know, because the royals when they were together, they wanted to keep the bloodline fresh. They, so they were all marrying each other, the cousins yes. and all that kind of stuff. And <clears throat> then they were deformed and not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have to look, you know what? I ha I'll have to go back in and, and, and see uh, what else is said about that. That's mm -hmm. big. Or it's, it's the Catholic. view on it you know the yeah catholic, the catholic view on it yeah peter absolutely when we were watching um marsha mcmahon's video yeah. that i sent you last night and that makes sense when we're looking at the picture of the last supper and peter so this is da vinci who does the last supper he is yes he was in the secret societies the prior priory of scion in particular um, and he, Peter has a knife, I guess, pointed at Mary Magdalene, who is to the right of Jesus. And they definitely mm -hmm. were, I don't think she was fighting, but he was definitely fighting. Like, Jesus, why would Jesus say this to a woman? I mean, he said that in the Gospels, you know. Um, so maybe it's that, but yeah, let's ask. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I will definitely go in and uh, and channel some more information on that. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. So yeah. we've, got, we've got two out of three. We have the Ascended Master, Bethius, then King Childeric. Child Childeric, uh-huh. And who came in third? Yeshua? Uh about the healing yeshua? oh about the, oh, the holy, holy, grail. holy grail yes that yeah. was yeshua. oh my god okay. yes I, yeah That's and you're going to read on you're going to read that oh okay yes i'll read that <laughs> i will definitely read that i cut i love it i'll be all dramatic about it too <laughs> like i like to be theatrical um <clears throat> So this is, this was channeled by Rose. So I'm going to read it as if you are reading it. They are telling Rose, the Holy Grail, you are the keeper of the sacred grail. The grail is sacred coded geometry of ancient information, book of knowledge. The sacred knowledge is within your soul. And then Rose asks, is this knowledge for all to see? This knowledge has been hidden for this specific time and place. The knowledge is within you, child. You are bringing this knowledge out slowly for all to grasp. This knowledge was embedded into your soul and was hidden for this time and purpose. Many will not believe, but as time goes by, they too shall see the knowledge you bring is of sacred time and of importance to many in high places. There will be no doubt of this sacred knowledge. 
Then Rose asked, Who am I, Father? You are John, the knight, keeper of the Holy Grail, the geometry of life, light, and space, eternal life. The knowledge is within you, and many will flock to you for this knowledge. Eternal life is within each one of you. You each have the capabilities to heal your vessels, bodies, from ailments of the world, life force. The body is made up of thousands and thousands of cells. These cells each contain the geometry symbol, each one different from the other. Sound brings a vibration of geometry, which flows through the body, bringing this healing modality that is one part of life force. The next is the movement of the body, the weave that is the geometry of each person's body, soul. The third is the light, the crystalline light of the universe, the highest light of the universe, purity of the heart. Love is the highest vibration of the universe. That is all, Father Yeshua. That is amazing, right? Yeah. And life force is another early message, one of the earlier messages I got. Um, <clears throat> when I was in, I think I was getting a hypnosis session, a past life regression done. And I said, why am I going to Glastonbury? Why am I going to England? You know, other than to go there and learn and the, the obvious. And they said, life force and anointing. I had no idea what life force yeah. was really. I wasn't in those circles where life force, chi, energy, prana. Yeah. All that. It wasn't in my vocabulary. It wasn't mine either. <laughs> yeah. So cool. So cool. And so you have all of this. You have the weave. Where's the first? Yeah. Okay. It's the sound. The sound, the weave, and the light. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's so beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. It's a whole new world. It is, absolutely. Yeah. So they have me taking remote viewing classes um, starting next, next month, I think, in July. And I've already started doing that anyway in my journeys, doing the remote viewing. And apparently, I've been asking, like, is remote viewing just viewing? Mm -hmm. Or is it really bilocating? And it's really more not viewing, but changing energy in different dimensions as well it's getting oh. well. so i think that's a different spin on a type of healing that i'm getting into and you're getting yeah. they're sending you to do the sounds like we're gonna be busy yeah <laughs> <laughs> to say the least <laughs> yes yeah, we're going to be busy. And at the same time, like I know you and I were just talking about how you did this amazing energy healing and entity removal. Yeah. Which was just so big and so powerful and you were so tired. They're also not exhausting us. And we also have our free will to be able to say like, I don't, you could say, no, I can't do the energy healing today if you wanted to, <laughs> yeah. you know, actually, I, yeah, I don't think there was a saying, no, I think it was just like, you're doing it. <laughs> Remember like the last time where, uh, where Archangel Metatron came in and started yes. with the, that's exactly how I felt. Yeah. And you were sick as a dog. Like you had <laughs> breath even, I think, right. Like yeah. you were really sick. And yes. I was like, so how's that going to work? I know. <laughs> you right? must be healed by then if you're going to do a light language with yeah. stuff, and you were. Yeah. <laughs> you just need to sleep for 48 hours after. Yeah. Yeah. It was very, very cool. Yeah. They know best. 
They do know best. And also to keep our, you know, sometimes I wonder like how much freedom or choice do we have? Because sometimes I really do feel like we are led to like click on certain things. And I know that this is, this would put people in the hospital, mental <laughs> hospital back in the day, honestly. Right. Like to talk about this stuff. Oh and my gosh. Yes. You couldn't come out and talk about stuff like this. <laughs> yeah. no. How much are our guides really guiding us in ways that they know is best? Yeah. And we are surrendering to them. And we are being guided by them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we do also have free will. So what yeah. you say is like, oh, no, there was no saying no to Metatron. Also, you did you weren't going to say no. You're like, listen, right. I'll do it if I'm better. <laughs> like, if I can talk, I literally will do it. <clears throat> right. You know, I don't know. I have so many thoughts and questions about that. <laughs> yeah that's a good one that that is a good question yeah I mean yeah. just because we're we're willing like do they know we're willing and then they put it and we go forward we trust or you know they just seem to know so much like the layers of symbolism and the layers of meaning mm -hmm. nothing means one thing anymore like the b symbolism and the, right. the beehive that's the symbolic of all of the popes and the masons and then you know their beehive hats and their their fish hats and the vesca pisces like nothing means one thing right yeah and it's all yeah exactly right yeah. yeah and and we are being like you said we are being guided and we just go. We are being guided. So you just follow. You know what? They just answered my question. They said, we're doing this because you asked for it. <laughs> we, we asked for it. <laughs> How much is your free will in there? Um, obviously, we asked for this. So here we go. That's, that was you, the perfect this answer. This is what you asked for, Jody. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go <laughs> so here we go this is what you asked for this is what you wanted you know we're here <laughs> whatever all right cool thank you rose for meeting with me you're today you're welcome you're I welcome let's do this again in a couple days yes sounds good and uh and i'll get back okay. to you on that see if we have any more information on uh with King uh, Childeric. <clears throat> yeah, and I'll look up the prior before that. And, oh, okay, um, yeah. Also, I, I want to look up some things that I saw in France, some images and mm -hmm. art, and look that up and see if I can get some information about that too, because okay. that really is, you know, when when you were doing King Childeric and you came in and said, hello, lad, and I was like, wait, <laughs> they're Frank. <laughs> They're, you know, French and German. And um, when I looked it up, they're like, yeah, no, there's there's a huge uh, Celtic origin. And we know that Jesus, Joseph of Arimathea, the Marys, Martha, some were in Southern France and some were up in Glastonbury. Mm -hmm. So they were, they were all over. So I want to look into that too. Yeah, group. really interesting. Yeah, yeah, amazing. I love it. I yeah. love it too. <laughs> All right, thank you, Rose. You're welcome. You're I'm gonna welcome. upload this today. <laughs> All right, bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you for watching. Thank you.